Assalamu alaikum. All my students, I am fine. I hope you are also fine. Now I will discuss uh, about real number and our problem to put that root three is irrational number. To put that root two is irrational number. Okay, is very important question for examination. These are class nine and ten and math tip. Okay. First, you have to know the definition of a irrational number. What is irrational number? This number which can be expressed by p by q is called rational number. But this number which cannot be expressed by p by q is called irrational number. What is irrational number? This number which can be expressed cannot be expressed by p by q is called irrational number. Where p and q where p and q are co-prime each other and q not equal to zero and q not equal to zero okay if q equal to zero what will happen it will undefined if q equal to zero what will happen it equal to undefined suppose five by zero its result undefined u a d e f y a undefined not zero not five not infinity so p and q co prime each other and q not equal to zero now we can start our problem first we have to show that where root 3 is existing that means where it where root 3 place in real life okay now we can start our problem and solve our problem we know that we have 1 square equal to 1. 1 square equal to 1. 2 square equal to 4. But, but, root 3 square, that root 3 square equal to 3. It is clear, it is clear, root 3 lies between 1 to 2. 1 to 2. That means, because 1 is integer and next integer 2. So, root 2, root 3 lies between 2 integer, between 2 integer. So, it is clear that this fraction. So, it is clear that this fraction. Okay. So, it is clear that, it is clear that, it is clear, clear that root 3 is not integer. Root 3 is not INTE. Root 3 is not integer. It is a fraction. It is a fraction. Okay. Now let, let us consider, let us consider root 3 equal to m by n where where n n are co prime each other co pri and co prime each each another and and n not equal to zero. It is clear we have one scale equal to one, two scale equal to four, but root three scale equal to three. It is clear that root three is not in zero. Now let us consider root three equal to n by n, where m and n are co prime each other and n not equal to zero. Now let's study both sides. We have now, square equals set, okay, that implies with the body, or that implies, that implies 3 carry to, 3 carry to, m square by n. Square both sides. Square both sides. Multiplying n on both sides, 3n equal to m square by n. Multiplying n on both sides. Multiplying. A mu L T I T L 
multiplying n on both side multiplying on both side since root 3 is fraction so we can write root 3 as n by n where n by n m and n are co-prime each other and n are equal to 0 ok it's still both side now product multiplying multiplying n on both side ok it is clear that it's clear that left side and right side if we follow if we follow left side here here 3n is clearly clearly integer why 3n is integer? because n is integer and 3 is also integer so 3 is integer so 3 is also integer but but n square by n is fraction. fraction. So it is quite impossible. So it is quite impossible. <coughs> left side and right side. Left side is integer, right side is fraction. So it is quite impossible. Which is quite impossible. What is impossible? Which is impossible. So we cannot write right. So we cannot write root 3 by n. So we can write that. So it is not possible to write. So we can write. So we cannot write. So we cannot write root 3 equal to n by n. Since it is not possible to n by n. Since so we can. <coughs> So we cannot write. So we can write. So we cannot write. So we cannot write m by n. Since it is not possible to write m by n. So for this, for this root 3 is an irrational. Has complete. Has complete. Okay. Now we explain again our problem to prove that root 2 is an notion number. Root 2 is a notion number. First, we have to show that a space where root 2 exists on our real life. Okay. We have one second one, two second four. But root 3 is the 3. It is clear that root 3 is not in desert. Since it is not in desert, so it is fraction. So we consider root 3, root 3 equal to m by n. So it is clear root 3 equal to m by n. Where m and n, m and n are co prime each other and n not equal to 0. Why n not equal to 0? If n equal to 0, it will undefined. So, root 3 can be m by n. Okay, let's take both sides. Let's take both sides, root 3 square, 3, n by n, or square, we scan and square. Okay, now next step, multiply n on both sides, n. 3n can be m square by n. Now, if we follow this relation, this equation, what is this? Left side, left side, 3n. This is a is also integer. So it's clear that 3a is clearly integer. But in a scale by n, there is no common factor. There is no common factor. So it will not be divisible. It is fraction. In a scale by n is a fraction. Which is contradiction? Which is impossible? Which is impossible? So we cannot write root 3 that m by n. Since it's not possible to write m by n, so it's clear. It's a number. It's complete. Thank you, my students. I hope it will be helpful in your recognition or your life.